Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Lost Chevalier, and you're welcome back to the elevator game with Cat Girls. Let's continue, shall we? Where were we? Um, this is the most recent one, December 22. We are already in the elevator, and we need to go T2019. Two. Oh. One. And then nine. I don't know what to expect, but it might be creepy. Probably creepy. I have a coffee here with me. Oh, well, we are here. So, here freaking low. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What? What the hell? This place, it's. It looks exactly like the classroom in our school, one I'm depressingly familiar with. But there is no way I can be my this it can be my classroom though. My college is no my college my college is nowhere near this course building. My college. College? Why will this place manifest it from me like this? Oh wait, what the hell? Why am I suddenly in my school uniform? What kind of dark magic is this? <laughs> I love that. Look at this expression. It's so cool. Okay. Um, the clock has not thing, not hands. The clock in our house room been broken ever since I transferred, and nobody got around to fix it. The ones, the, this one is not only broken; it has a hole in it. Time is an illusion. <laughs> the black one reminds me the only only one thing. Of that stunt Kirin pulled on me a while ago. It's like it happened yesterday, and just thinking about it makes the memory flash vividly in my mind and sends a shiver down my spine. I recall Kirin tortuously dragging her nails against the blackboard in my class, a wicked smile painting her lips as she held my gaze. Kirin, you really had no mercy for anyone's ears. Or sanity. Why did she do it in the first place? I can't even recall the reason anymore. It was probably something pe petty, pity, like most of the mean things she did. Ugh, I can't look at the blackboard without remembering those torturous sounds. Nothing on the TV. What about the desk? The teacher's desk. I never stay too close to it in class, and I don't think I need to now. Seems like all of the its drawers are closed anyway. I wonder if I could find a key for those. Or perhaps there is an irre there, these are irrelevant in all of this. I get the feeling I should look around our desk instead. Oh, puzzles. What the hell? I'm not a big fan of our classroom art. Whoa, the desk of my class. I don't need to go through all of them, do I? Should I probably focus on the ones that are obvious, like mine or Kirin's or Sapporo's? What the hell? That's... that's not mine! Somebody left a Nocti magazine in my desk again. One day I will find out who is behind this. Hmm. Seems like there is nothing else in my desk. So nothing here. You sit in the front of the class. Savagery. It's a big fucking library. Oh, one of these. There is definitely something weird going on here. Today I found a note that mentions something about me that nobody else out there could have known. I know, I never told anyone that. Can this place somehow reveal my darkest secrets? I'm recording, right? Yeah, everything is going correctly. Good. This silver note, it, it is, is it just coincidence that I'm finding it at the Savoros desk? 
Nope, you're seeing Sapphoros. Sapphor thing. Considering Sapphor's rebellious nature, her desk is actually surprisingly tidy. And here we are. Aww. Kevin, you can be such a bundle sometimes. Surprisingly, there is, doesn't seem to be anything in her desk. There's nothing here. Um, maybe that's a clue because it looks... Asahi plus Kirin. There is something weird here. Does this mean that I can leave now? Somebody let me out of here, please! Somebody let me out of here, please! Oh, it's close. Okay, got it. Whoa! Whoa! A sense of dread fills me the moment I turn around back to the class. The whole class will suddenly swarm with mannequins? How? There is nobody else here. How could they just have arrived like that? They are creepy, like there are a certain presence around them, and they feel like they are about to come to life at any moment. That they put me on edge is an understatement. Ugh. Why would I even imagine them coming to life? Just no. Oh no. What is that? No, that's the tail? Jesus. Wait, there is no... There is nothing here. Support, I could really use your help right now. Somebody let me out of here, please! Okay, both doors are closed. We can jump through the window. That's also a possibility. And there is nobody in this desk either. It's the teacher deck that we're feeling like it's not the most important thing in this room. Time is an illusion. No, oh, what I'm doing? <laughs> Wait. Can look at the blackboard. I'm not a big fan of the art of grass. Somebody let me out. No, nothing here. Oh wait, I can look at the window. There is nothing out of the ordinary here, just a window with a totally ordinary view of the courtyard outside our school. I shouldn't think about how I'm currently supposed to be in the middle of a 10-story building and how school grounds are actually 5 times creepier at night. Or is it 6? It's definitely a lot more times than usual. Shouldn't think about that. Okay. How the freak am I supposed to get out of here? There is a puzzle here, I know it. No, nothing here. Um, I'm a little lost. Oh, red note. I suddenly notice a red note at Kirin's desk. There is only one problem, though. One of the mannequins is standing so close to it that I'm afraid to slip my hand into the crevice. Coming into contact with these things uh, is not something I want to do. I don't have much time of choice though, do I? These notes, they might have some important clues regarding this place. And it's not like I know any other way out right now either. So come on, Nash Asahi, you can do this. Pick it up, come on. I try my best to ignore the unnerving feeling of the mannequins next to me as I carefully take a seat at the chair at Kirin's desk. It's easier for me to check around inside of it like this. Okay, so, uh, the mannequin move. May 29th, I can't believe how gu 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 gullible that girl is. A wing here, a smile there, and I have got her wrapped around my little finger just like that. Huh. She really must have had no friends in her previous school. I bet she was bullied over there too. Yeah, I'm not finding that uh, Kirin is a little... Uh, it's, it's not uh, precisely the best of people. Is this really... Wait. 
Oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. None of this is real. None of this can possibly be real. The mannequins can't hurt me. The mannequins me. can't hurt you, Asahi. Huh? The mannequins can't hurt you, Asahi. Uh. The mannequins can't hurt you, Asahi. The mannequins can't hurt you. The mannequins can't hurt you. Oh no. Or can they? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my head. What in the hell was that just now? That could that couldn't have been a dream. All of it feels too real and those I'm going to be scared of mannequins for the rest of my life. Thanks thank you, game. Achievement unlock the tension. The hands are missing again. Probably for the better. Visiting that glass was a mistake. Okay, so I need to find something else. What the hell should I try to find now? Already done this. At least I got that thing for my efforts. That being done. What about this thing over here, though? There's a treasure buried there where the red dot is. Still don't know what the hell it does mean. It looks so weird. I don't understand the maze at all. Let me save. I don't understand the maze. So weird. Probably the the thing was the I don't know I don't know because it clearly this room, but it's going to move when I blink. I know it. How am I in notes? Oh, just one left. Nothing here, huh? There is something that... Racky. Nothing changed here. Probably the thing was here. This was the treasure, maybe. There is nothing else I can do. No, continue looking for green. I don't know what else I can do. Hmm.
I really don't know what to do. So guide it is, because I need a guide. Okay, show me the guide that is on the game. Here it is. Okay, what's the hint? Where are we? Main endings, I already done this, we already done that. Uh, you have three playing cards, done. Um, done. Um, done. This one over here, done. And over here. Done, done. Okay, what the hell is happening here? I don't know. Hmm. Done. Done. Hmm, done. 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 Red Note 9. Oh, that's right, we don't have Red Note 9. Huh. There is anything new in the totality. Try the elevator game again? And should I try it from this floor? Oh, I can't enter from this syrup for ground floor, okay. Okay, that being done, let's try the freaking thing again. One, four, two, six, two. So, um, four, two, six, two. Four. Two. Six. Two. Four, two, six, two, ten, five, one. Ten. What the hell? Who's calling me? Guess what? They tried to scam me via the phone. <laughs> oh my god. My god, my god, my god. Okay, where were we? And um, floor ten five one five five and now the floor number one. And we go to the floor number ten. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're going somewhere. Dun. Welcome to the other world again. It worked again. Okay, let's go. Let's go.
And the red snow is falling. The red stuff is still falling from the sky. It doesn't seem like the early screen is here at this time around. I shouldn't feel so disappointed by that fact. Asahi. Whoa! Saforo! I have the freaking camera, what Saforo? should I do? Is that you? No, it's your fairy godmother. Eh, it really is her. Oh, she has a cross in the in the thing. Sapphire in the flesh, alive. That sounds the sort of Zanarchy reading I'd expect from Are her. Are you alright? Is Kieran with you? No, she's not with me. You know why that is, don't you? Uh, because she just uh, threw you from the freaking cliff. Probably. Probably. I'm not sure whether it has more to do with the incident I witnessed the last time, or with the notes I found so far, or maybe something else entirely, but... Well, what do you know? Things went just as you predicted, Sapporo. What? Oh, you! You're... you're that shady janitor guy. How did you get here? I had a little help. I don't understand any of this. Why is this guy even here? What's the involvement with this place and with Sapporo, for that matter? I'm glad you both could make it, and this is a sweet reunion and all, but we still have some problem solving to do. Asahi, did you find the camera? Yep. I did, and uh, it did some weird stuff. <sighs> Good, less stuff for me to explain. I still have many questions, Sapporo. I'm sure you do. Oh, the voice of Sapporo is so cool. Well, the voice of the janitor, I love it too. Now, now, there's no need for such a tone. Let's keep things civil around here. And let's see if this will work the way you thought it would. Before I get the chance to ask what the, he meant by that, he kneels on the edge of the bridge. And then he places the, brief, the briefcase ha he's been carrying with him on the ground. Only then does it hit me. The briefcase has an X mark on it. It always did. Does this mean this guy was tasked with bringing an X over here while I was tasked with finding the camera? Is this why Sapporo wanted for both of us to come here? You know what to do with that, don't you? Yep, do the honors, kitten. They don't need to tell me twice. I have the camera in my bag. Whiskey. Oh, I need to click on it. There we go. Yes! Bridge! Huh? So the camera doesn't only make things disappear. It also makes them appear. This is crazy, but it seems to have worked. I can't see where the bridge gap even was anymore, but just walking on this thing is anxiety-inducing. A bridge like this will definitely be too frail to exist, and even if somehow did, it will fall apart for sure under anyone's weight. Except that this one doesn't. Somehow it's here in this bizarre place, and it's real, or as real as anything else here it is, at least. And I'm standing on it. I let out a breath I didn't even realize I was holding when Sephora finally sets a foot right next to us. Did we do it? The janitor guy starts clapping beside me, startling me. A job well done! I couldn't have done that better myself. I'm recording everything correctly, the voice and everything. Yep, everything is being correctly recorded. Good. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much, Asahi. You've really helped me out. It's an odd feeling, seems them so grateful and excited for the change. Sapphora never was one to let her emotions show like this. I have very rarely seen her smile. Knowing that I help her, it feels good. However... Uh, don't thank me just yet. We still need to get out of here. Properly. Indeed we do. And things might get tricky with the three of us. D give me a second though. Give me just a second. I, I'm, going to, I'm going to write down this. This whole thing. Because according to this... 
We need to go the traveling for out of the underworld should be with the same um thing. Repeat two through A to get on floor five again. So I need to go for it's f one four two six two two six two ten five one ten five one in case I would want to leave um press the button for floor one if you start ascending to floor 10 press any other floor before it will deliver to stop east 10 concerning the ascension do it before reaching floor 10 ignore all voices once on floor one be sure nothing looks feels sounds smells out of the ordinary you may need to repeat step two until everything on floor one finally seems normal do not leave otherwise this is very important once you have convinced that everything on floor one is as it should be you can exit the elevator okay so repeat and press any button just in case okay got it just in case yeah the three of us shouldn't it be four of us yeah what about you know who I'm talking about. What about Kirin? What about Kirin? What yeah. About her? What? What do you mean, what about her? I came all the way here to rescue her. I won't rest until I find her. Yep. <sighs> this place works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? Asahi, you do understand what this place wanted to tell you, right? After everything you saw and experienced, do you really still want to drag her back into your life? Uh, yeah, that, she has a point because she's a bitch. Sorry to say that, but she's not a good person with you, Asahi. This place is giving you the opportunity to get away and to not look back. Plus, she killed Sephora last time. Is that what you're about to do? Just because it's an easy way out doesn't make it right. I don't want her to just disappear. Hell, she's the only reason I'm still playing the stupid game to begin with. Don't expect me to just give up on her now. Well, Sapporo, I believe I won the bet. <laughs> Great. You owe me another 50 bucks. Another? Uh, what? <sighs> just shut up. Suit yourself, Asahi. I love the voice of Sephora. I'm not here to be teaching you morals or making your life decisions for you. All I want is for you to leave me out of it. I'm going to save. I, I have the feeling that I'm going to need to make a choice here. That being said, here. June 6th. This was way too easy. Does she honestly believe I have feelings for her? What a total joke she is! No! That should be the last piece of the puzzle for you. God damn it. You know what you have to do, right? Why do you have this? This is goodbye, Asahi. Take care, kitten. Hold on to that fighting spirit of yours. It's your greatest asset. And give my regards to Kirin. Sorry for this, but may we never meet again. I don't get the chance to protest or to ask why the hell Sapporo will say something like that. Because next thing I know, I'm being janked on and then shoved hard. Uh, I lose balance easily, falling from the bridge once more. Down into the foggy nothing less below. God damn it. Truth be told, there is something dreamless about this place. It's kind of like time flows slower and falling down feels more levitating through the clouds. It's such a weird, serene feeling, I, like I'm drifting down through cotton candy or something. Almost pleasant. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Hmm. That's off, Sapporo. You just killed your best friend in cold blood. Should I consider you a murderer from now on? Going by your logic, we'd all be murderers by now. 
Besides, it's not like I'm actually killing her. You should know that more than anyone. I'm just sparing her some hassle. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell was that? Down there? I scrubbed in my pockets from my phone in a flat panic, dealing Sapporo's number as soon as it is in my hands. But the call doesn't go through. I dial Kevin's for good measure as well. That one doesn't go through either. I mean, I guess I expected the second one to fail too, but it still hits me really hard this time that for some reason I can't get a hold of Kirin. And we are in the other world, by the way. I tried to make sense of what happened. Of what I did, of what I experienced in the other world. Did I actually help Sapporo get out of that place? Is she back in the real world now? She's been a classmate for a couple of months, and even though I have only ever had minimal interactions with her, it still feels weird to think about her now. I can't help but wonder what her actual connection to that whole place is, and how are me and Kirin actually involved in it. I mean, why us? And the thing she say at the end before she pushed me, does that mean I'm never going to see her again? Just because I still want to save Kirin despite that kind of person, what kind of person she is? Am I am I all done alone in this now? Oh yeah. I do remember what Sapporo said as she handed me the red note, however. I may not understand everything, but I do understand what I need to do to find Green at this point. If the silver notes are connected to Sapporo, then surely the red ones are... Uh, yes. Let the realization hit you. She doesn't love, love you at all. One step closer. Achievement unlock. Oh boy, why is it snowing here? Huh? Oh, what? Just what is going on with this place? None of this makes sense. It shouldn't be snowing inside of a building. How is that red stuff even falling through the ceiling? <laughs> 